Hello, hello. We did it again. <laughs> yes. Wonderful. Well, um, hello everyone. Uh, this is our podcast called Daughter Mama Dialogue with your co-hosts. My name is Kyra and Mommy Cat. Mommy Cat. Mommy Cat. <laughs> she keeps coming up with new <laughs> versions. Um, so this is a podcast where we, where it's a, basically a mother daughter duo, talking about conversations about life and what's in it, and basically just wanting to foster conversations between parents and their children, adult children, children, but children regardless. So we talk about different things basically. Um, if you guys have come from our YouTube channel. Um, we are posting episodes there as well Um, we're doing some experimenting there but this is another place you can definitely listen to us Um, right so today we wanted to talk about what is the beginning of 2021 basically so January and I guess we wanted to talk about goals today yeah, you wanted to talk about goals. <laughs> you wanted to talk <laughs> about goals today. Why can't we be cohesive? Why can't we just be like a team on this? So I'm going along. I'm just following along. So yeah, I guess we're talking about goals today. Very good. I'm. I'm just. I'm just okay. Thank you for encouraging me. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, if there's one thing that I think is a blessing, parents should see as a blessing is when your children are old enough to encourage you. And it's not just one, you know, from parent to child. Yeah, well, we just wanted to, I mean, I thought it would be a good idea to start off the conversation this way, because, you know, there's been quite a few negative things that has happened. um, Understand it. (laughs) Yeah, a lot of things in 2020 has been, um, it's been a bit much. So, like, moving forward, like, moving towards, looking towards the future, we want to, at least I think it's just a good idea to try to just speak positive things, maybe just set our goals um, out there, speak speak them into existence, like, realistic goals, I would say. Mm -hmm. And then maybe, like, um, and then maybe... You know, of course, in our daily lives, we just got to make it happen, put whatever we need to have in motion so that we can reach our goals. So, mm-hmm. um, so I was just thinking like just a couple of just a couple of different goals, maybe not just in general, but just kind of make this easier. Um, How about we first talk about maybe like our personal goals? Like, do you have any personal goals that you want to reach or strive for in this year or just maybe moving forward in your life? I think, um, well, I think, you know, for me as your mom at my age, (laughs) you know, I have to take all of that into account. Mm -hmm. I look back on previous goals to see what I should have done better you know, I try to, mm-hmm. I reflect on it quite a bit and see what I should should have done better. Should I continue with my goals? Um, but I think for this year, as I continue, because I don't think it's like you just stop and, and start again, you know, your goals. But I think if I take this moment to reflect on it, my overarching goals would be, first of all, to figure out and reflect on what my purpose is in this life because I feel that my goal should be tied to what my purpose is in this life. Secondly, I am working on my prayer life because I think that is so vital to my direction. I feel like my direction is headed by my spiritual life. In connection with God, my belief in Jesus Christ, and my purpose, my my prayer life, um, and then um, 
as far as my goals, um, to let them be known to other people, because if, if I keep them locked up, that's almost the same as just not, not um, taking advantage of what you've been blessed with. You okay. know, if I keep it to myself, who's, you know, who they ain't going nowhere, you know? So I haven't set any specific goals, but I think you, you got to have the overarching, the background thinking and reflection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, are you done? Oh, you missed it? I think. No, you said in reflection, and it sounded like that's all I heard. That was the last thing I heard. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the way no, the way you the way you said it ended it. It sounded like there was more to be said after the word reflection. So I was like, oh, is that it? Oh, um, just... no, that's <laughs> it. That's it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. I would say for me, something that I guess is just a continuation of a goal is just to be consistent and just personally and well, in every aspect of my life is just to be consistent. Um, Mm -hmm. It's so easy to give up on things or to not, whether it's relationships with people showing up for people Mm -hmm. um, in different ways, like, you know, being supportive to, I don't know, sitting down and writing every day, Mm -hmm. (laughs) like, or um, whatever else. So it's more of like a light, it's more of a general goal, but I think consistency is definitely something that like I I always, I want to continue striving for. Mm -hmm. Um. I definitely agree with you about prayer life. Like I have, I don't pray as much as I used to, you know, when I was a lot younger, but I, I have been making the point to be more prayerful. Um, I've also, yes. Um, and just try to also have influences in my life, making a point to have, like to listen to certain media that reflects my beliefs or to have or try to reach out to people or have people in my life that kind of may not always agree with everything that I do, but like are are positive influences that kind of help me with my own belief in a way, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, And then like a third, I guess a third thing it's 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 kind of tied to the first about consistency as far as personally, but um my third goal is to be active as mm-hmm. active of, as I can be, like even if it's inside my home, like I <laughs> you know mm-hmm. I've been doing in the home workouts like I've there are you no know, trainers and people doing things a lot more virtually and like there's this one UK trainer her name is Christina uh I I don't know remember how to pronounce her last name but she's like mixed she's mixed um I think half Nigerian and so Mm -hmm. that doesn't necessarily matter but the whole point is is like I've really enjoyed her workouts Mm -hmm. and I'm considering I may what I may do is join her her monthly subscription like she has a, her personal page where you can follow along with her um with her workouts her in-home workouts which I've been doing for free <laughs> but then there's like this whole subscription whole Instagram page where people would have access to not only like like workouts consistently she has hey 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 hey. are we having a conversation or you want do you want me to just listen no i'm telling you my goals i know but can i make a comment here and there let me make a comment okay so that that's great but you know i know you're going to get annoyed 
but it seems like, and you know how, I'm not going to call myself cheap. I'm going to call myself practical. There are there are a lot of, now, I applaud that you want to support her, and that's great, but it always seems like you gravitate towards things that cost money when there's other stuff <laughs> that, <laughs> that, and I don't mean a little bit of money. I mean, there's other stuff out here that is free. It's free. And I feel my voice yes. getting hoarse again. There's other stuff out here that's free, but for some reason, my child, my oldest child, tends to gravitate what co- towards what costs money. Why is that? No, not all the time. Can that be a thing? No, all the time. Um, that's not all the time, Ma. There practical. are certain things, like, there's nothing wrong with wanting to support business. Like, okay, the yes, there are free things, and I have followed free. Like, I follow her free workouts, and I follow, like, I also follow other people's free things. But I actually really like how she does things, so that's the difference. So, Mm -hmm. you know, it's not, like, I can do some things free, but if I have the money, and I do save pretty well, then why not? Okay, it's your money. It is your money. Okay. Okay. Well, Um, I try. So... (laughs) <laughs> so um yeah so there's that so my whole point was was just the third point for my personal goal is really just to be as active as I can mm-hmm. and so yeah I was considering maybe I might join her membership um there are other things I have a membership to planet fitness person uh currently and I have not been able to get to it so <gasps> why not is that because I can't get to it. I physically cannot get oh, to it. Oh, oh. I don't have a card. Well, you know what? I, I've been actually thinking about Planet Fitness a lot lately because it's boring around here, around the house. <clears throat> and I like to, you know, be around other people, even if it's at a distance. But but then again, of course, I'm thinking, like, I don't want to touch anything that someone else has touched. So I'm thinking about this yeah. long term. Long I mean they have they have sanitation stations too. So they do have like um I mean I definitely understand the concern. I think a couple of things that could help with that is they have usually like a um hand sanitizers at different like stations. Mm-hmm. And then they mm-hmm. also have like um you know, they have they've always had um paper towels and 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 uh what do you call it? Sanitizer. Yeah, I, just, I don't know what, what what the word. I don't. Yeah, that wasn't the word I was looking for. But oh. yes, yeah, so you can spray things down. And then if you're worried about, still worried about touching things, maybe like wear gloves. Yeah, but also, and also maybe just you just gotta go early because the early the I rather people don't go to the gym as much really early versus like. Usually, there's a lot more people in the evening. That's a good point. So Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll get out of my rolling out of bed um, habit whenever to go early. In the yeah. Um, yeah, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you said that because, you know, I have a few of my favorite stores that I like to go to. As a teacher, I go to Dollar Tree mm-hmm. and... Mm-hmm. Um, my favorite, one of my three favorite grocery stores, actually, yeah, one of my three favorite grocery stores, um, was just so great in, in, you know, following the guideline, you walk up to the door, they handed you a sanitized cart. Now you walk up to the door, is get your cart yourself. I mean, the cart was free. (laughs) Now it's good to put it yourself, and hopefully they have some sanit- a sanitizer stand there yeah. waiting for you. But it used to be they handed you a sanitized cart. You didn't have to go pay for the cart. You you yeah. also had wipes waiting for you at the door. Just pull a wipe out, a hand a hand wipe, and you and you had the san- hand sanitizer. Now nobody's at the door. The wipes are always out. You may or may not get <laughs> hearing sanitizer. It is I'm definitely like on alert. I'm on alert. Like, 
like I have no I have no um what do you call it when you're on a walking a tight rope <laughs> you hope you have that safety net safety, safety net. net yes thank you I have no safety net I gotta do it myself I mean I don't know about yeah I mean it's always good to always you know have if you have gloves or um and then there's and then it's good to carry your own wipes now like you you do have an option it's just not it's just not like when everyone else is lax you just gotta now do the all the extra stuff <laughs> you know have your own sanitizer wipe, wipes i can't even speak or um that. Have hand sanitizer yourself so yeah i didn't mean Hmm. Hello. So, as if things are normal. Oh, it cut out for a second. Like I couldn't hear everything that you said. I'm sorry. I was saying this is the life we're living while we're trying to make goals as if everything is normal. But I apologize for turning the conversation towards <laughs> the pandemic. Like I don't know. I'm apologizing, but then again, I'm like, wait a minute. Why am I apologizing? I don't know why you're apologizing either. I, I want to be positive, but I'm trying to be realistic. Can you do both in the same breath? Yes. Okay. Thank you. See, that's what I meant when I said it's wonderful when your when you're, when you're children can do the encouraging. I mean, that like, realistic doesn't mean... There's a difference between being realistic and being... Um, just someone who's negative all the time. Real is it? Be, you can be realistic and name the factual things without having that negative emotion behind it, and just say, "Okay, A, B, C is happening, but moving forward, <clears throat> this is what I know can happen. That's positive. So it's it's possible to still be positive and or be optimistic and realistic at the same time, I think, personally. I feel like you're my personal psychologist. Because I, I feel like I'm about to respond <laughs> in a way that's like, yeah. Because I want to say <laughs> that I've been told sometimes that I'm in my feelings, and I don't really know that terminology. <laughs> I mean, you speak, with my... em you speak from emotion rather than, like, well, no, I'm not going to say you're not logical all the time, but, like, you you speak through your emotions like how you feel rather than just like whether rather than just a factual thing mm. i'm trying to think which is i oh go ahead no what were you going to say i don't think it's a bad thing i just think you know sometimes cuz i can definitely be reactive sometimes with the way i speak but what I've been practicing, which I think I'm better at than I used to be, is that sometimes if I if I've given enough chance, like sometimes when something happens, I don't like instead of reacting right away, I sit with it and I just kind of analyze it. And mm -hmm. sometimes because sometimes I don't know how I feel right then and there anyway. Mm -hmm. And then usually mm -hmm. after a few days, I may be like even more mad or not. But. <laughs> At least I've thought about it and kind of rationalized it a little bit. So I think that's a plus to be able to sit and reflect on it. Even though if it involves someone else and they're expecting some response from you, they may not be uh, accepting of the time that you take to reflect because um, they resent it. I'll say that. Because I've had that experience. Yeah. And unfortunately... I feel that way towards other people too, unless they tell me that they need time to think about it. But yeah, but I coming from a background of being the youngest for at least eight years of my life, I, I know I have that spoiled side <laughs> of me that says, well, you need to tell me now, you know, on, on some level, I want instant gratification when it comes to communicating. Like. Yeah, I think it's definitely important for people to like 
tell you. I mean, this is kind of a little bit off topic, but just to make it more on topic when we were talking about goals. goals. I definitely think (laughs) I definitely think it is more of a goal to be try to be be aware of who you're communicating with because like sometimes, yeah, like the fact that you want because I I like when people tell me what is on their mind. Mm -hmm. So tell me what what you're thinking. I don't think that's like instant instant you know results is always the case mm-hmm. but like but what I've realized what I've had to also communicate is, is say okay if you don't want to if you can't really articulate what you feel right now or what you want or whatever mm-hmm. then maybe I mean just give it a few days just just tell me that you don't that you need a moment by yourself to really think about things yeah. because as opposed to which happens quite often with I think most people and I've done it myself is where people just stop talking to you they just shut down yeah and that's like, me it's nothing <laughs> yeah it's nothing it's nothing more frustrating when you're trying to have a conversation with someone and they just won't like they'll walk away from you and so it's important for both parties to be like the the party that's like really trying to talk to the person will be like be hold your calm be calm <laughs> because this is just like making it worse and more emotional building up the emotional um tension i guess in this situation is not gonna help um but then the other party that wants to shut down would be like okay communicate the fact that okay i really cannot talk right now but i really think that if you can give me like a, you know a day couple hours just give me a moment to collect myself before I say something I don't want to say sometimes yeah but that that's helpful sometimes you can collect yourself in a few days but otherwise in my case depending on the person I'm communicating with it can take much longer and I've realized that I need to be more self I'm working on being more Mm self-aware Um, because I realize that my response comes from my, oh, I've been watching too much of Yanla, Benzant, but <clears throat> my response comes from my experience, my background experience, what I know. And at one point I thought, you know, I, you know, because there's been a lot of, we have all experienced a lot of drama but I I've come to the conclusion that it's something I have to constantly revisit when I'm making decisions and responding like just because I went through it doesn't mean I don't need to think about it one time and I'm done no it's still it still affects how I say and respond to things so that's another goal. I mean, yeah. I, I'm working on being self-aware. Um, I've got a tier of goals. <laughs> so, um, but I think the prayer life is yeah. coming in to help guide, you know, purpose, prayer life, self-awareness. I feel like I missed something, though. <clears throat> I mean, I definitely think yeah, I definitely agree with the fact that, you know, we all kind of moved. Okay, I can hear it. That was very loud. Sorry. I... Um, mm-hmm. um, so I, I, I agree with the fact that we all kind of move through, we all make decisions based upon like our own personal experiences like who we interact with like how we how we respond to people is based upon like experience that we've had and and they usually say ever since we we were young you know ever since we were um kids especially childhood trauma so we're always looking we all we're always like interacting with people with that filter Mm -hmm. And um, I think I heard this from some other podcast. You know, I ain't no um, expert or anything. But 
it makes sense to say like we kind of all to a certain extent kind of interact with people with that kind of filter that that lens yeah it's kind of hard It, it can be hard to kind of like it can be hard to kind of um you know, recognize when we're wh- whether it, this is a response that makes sense in that moment, or whether this is a response because of whatever we went through yeah. when we were alive with kids. Yeah. So. so, do you think about that in terms of your goals? Um, like personal, my personal goals. I think we're only going to have time to talk about personal goals. The next episode, we could talk about like career goals. Um, I guess like, but um. Yeah, I, I, I think about just, like, how I interact with people. Like, I want to build my relationships with people. And I do a lot of self-aware thinking. I, I do a lot of self-reflection myself um, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to how I interact with you or any of my siblings or my father or my grandmother, any family mm-hmm. members, like, anybody people from different backgrounds and like I'm thinking like why like if it's a negative reaction an instant negative reaction sometimes I have to sit after words with myself and and just wonder like why did I react that way like mm. you know so so I try to be self-aware yeah I um I you know when you said you would ask yourself why would you react that way my instant thought was, shoot, I know why I reacted, but um, hello? I guess it depends on... I'm right here. It just depends on the situation. I mean, when you start reflecting on things, sometimes you also doubt yourself. So, uh, but I think, you know, that's why I said I, I need to work on my prayer life because I think when you have a strong prayer life, there's less chance of you, you know, losing direction in how you feel. So, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> I feel that this has been just um, a really, I've enjoyed this conversation. Really enjoyed this conversation. And I usually, you know, I like when we have conversations. Also, I'm not distracted by doing other little tasks so yeah it's been helpful for me to see and try to understand you a little bit better what your plans are for this year and um yeah I mean I that's why I kind of left it open-ended because there's so much can happen in this year so I felt like my goals my personal goals are things that carry over regardless mm-hmm. of what happens whether you know if I'm in the same <clears> career <throat> if I'm in the you know w- w- if I move you know whatever so I I definitely think um personal goals are what's needs are what's needed moving forward to kind of guide you and like for those who are listeners you know think about your personal goals like we, you know, we want you to kind of think about um, how to make your life better or people's lives who are around mm-hmm. you. Um, sometimes that could be writing it down, um, speaking it to yourself, have conversations with your family or friends. Like it's definitely, I think, something that is important. And I can, I can suggest um, also... <clears throat> that excuse me but because my voice is really crackly that um you know we can't always plan out how we're going to you know interact with other people sometimes we just have to be prepared well the part we can plan is preparing our minds uh ahead of time to take things as they come um take opportunities as they come so if someone calls you and, or you haven't called, someone calls you, like, for example, your grandmother calls me and I haven't talked to her for a while. I need to take some time to, to just talk to her on the phone. Or the other day I 
decided I was going to stop by and just spend some time with her. So I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely a goal. That's definitely a goal. Um, but yeah, we're going to moving forward. We, since we didn't have time to talk about like any like other type of goals, maybe like career mm-hmm. goals or uh, I, I suggest we talk about that next episode. Um, but yeah, you guys, if you want to follow us or want to even just like let us know what your goals are, you can follow us on our social mm-hmm. medias. My Instagram is Curious Bookster, C U R I O U S B O O K S T E R. And I know for me, you can reach out to me. That's also a page mm-hmm. all about books, aesthetics, mm-hmm. and all of that. So you guys can always DM me um, or look for our YouTube version, which just put in. Uh, my name is Kyra, <laughs> C-A-I-R-A, or Mama or Daughter Mama Dialogue yeah. or DMD. Um, Ma, do you have any, um, you want to share your Yeah, you media? can reach me at, I don't know what, what, what I don't know if I want to, yeah, anyway. You can reach me at Cleveland Cat, Cleveland underscore cat with two T's, or, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it at that. Um. All right. Yeah, that's it. All right. All right, everyone. Well, we hope you guys have a blessed day, and we'll see you next episode, or hear from you next episode, or you hear from us next episode. Mm, yeah, that what you <laughs> said. <laughs> okay, love okay. you. Bye, y'all. Okay, bye. Love you. Bye.